Welcome to Mashafushi, one of the most beautiful islands in the world. It's a place many dream of visiting. Not only is it absolutely stunning, but it has a beautiful tale. And to start, we're going to take a dive below the waves. Protecting the island is a hidden underwater world that brings people and creatures from far and wide. I'm talking, of course, about its coral reef. Now, corals are small colonial animals that build amazingly complex structures. Put lots of them together and you have yourself a reef. Reefs provide a home for 25% of all known marine life. And they're important for us too. They give us food to eat, islands to live on, and it's part of the vital life support system that gives us the weather we need and the oxygen we breathe. But all is not well. Our world is changing quickly. Too fast for corals who can't keep up. They are bleaching, ejecting the life forms that live within their branches, leaving behind only their bare, white skeletons. A bleaching event decimated our reef and the life force that powered the island was gone. Corals only grow at around two centimeters per year. So what you're seeing represents centuries of growth which was lost almost overnight. The reef was slowly being reduced to rubble along with the island itself. Overfishing, climate change and pollution are acting together to create an environment too stressful for the corals. But there is hope. In being so reliant on our reefs, we had to help them fight back. So we created a project to restore our reef and bring back the heart of the island. We built a nursery with frames for the corals to grow on. And we wanted to get everyone involved, you watching at home, who can help fix the problems facing our reefs, and our local guides who can take these skills and replicate them on their home islands. First, we needed some corals to grow. So we took some small pieces from carefully selected corals and broke them down to help increase their growth rates. The corals we chose were more heat resilient, allowing them to put up with the increasing temperatures they will face in the future without bleaching again. The corals are secured to our frames where they can grow and thrive under our supervision. And once the corals reach a large enough size, they can be replanted back to the reef, back to where they belong. Once our super corals have settled, they will slowly mature and build up their reserves for what lies ahead. It is vital that they grow large enough to spawn and give rise to the next generation who will start to rebuild the glowing city of life. Little by little, life will return to the reef, with new growing on old and the marine life coming home. But projects like these are merely buying time for corals, which is why a bigger change is needed in our everyday actions. The natural world is our lifeline. If we destroy that, we destroy our own life systems. Let 2020 be an example of that and a warning of what's to come if we continue as usual. Reduce and reverse our carbon footprint. Source and produce sustainably. Say no to plastic. While the world readjusts and resets, let's start changing for a better future.